Hey everyone, it's Mara Allard of Wind, Water, and Wisdom, and this is a story of a shed on Biogeometry Friday. So when we were moving from Massachusetts to North Carolina, my husband wanted to place said shed on the property. And he had put these flags out on the lawn, and he had said, showed me where he wanted them. And so I looked at the shed on Google Earth, and the location at that time was here. And I said, no, you can't put it there. And he said, why? I said, I don't know. I just, when I look at the earth or the land there, I'm, I'm getting, feeling something and it doesn't feel like the shed should be there. So he asked where the shed should go. And I said, I don't know. I'll have to actually physically walk the land. So when I got down here, I determined that just over here was an okay place to put the shed. Again, really didn't know exactly why, but the land felt good there. So I had taken my biogeometry trainings and I had my pendulum. So I thought, let's go out and look at the land. So I came over here and I have this pendulum that this will detect that negative energy that will come from, if you're in you know, EMFs, underground electrical, or ley lines under the ground. And when I put the pendulum here, it turns in a clockwise rotation which shows that there is something under this earth that is radiating through that this pendulum is detecting. Now, if we walk over here to this part of the yard and stand here, the pendulum just goes back and forth. There's no, it's not detecting anything under the earth. And again, if we went back over here, which again is not really far, and I put the pendulum out, it detects something under the ground. So, in biogeometry, they make, see, so yeah, they do, here we go. <laughs> and it picks it up. In biogeometry, they make what's called an earth scepter and it will um, transmute the um, earth radiation. So this is what it looks like. I took it out so I could do the experiment. This is what it looks like. This is the tool. I put it in said earth like so. And this will transmute that energy from under the earth into positive energy. So again, here we go now. Certainly hold it here so you can see. Now, it doesn't rotate. It just goes back and forth. So we've transmuted that underground energy that was detrimental, and it just goes back and forth. Now, you can check with my BG3 pendulum, which I have in my other pocket here, um, to see if it's beneficial energy, which the earth scepter should have transmuted it to. So if I put this here, yes, this will start to rotate in a clockwise position, showing that that energy that was once detrimental is now beneficial. Now, my husband being a very pragmatic man, I'm pragmatic too, but he's much more pragmatic, is like, why? I need to know why. What is under the earth? Well, he found it before I did said electrical. There's our underground electrical, which was coming right through all the way across the yard. There's my doggy over there into the garage. Now I actually could feel underground electrical in my bathroom, I guess bathroom as well, which is also where this electrical will run into before it hits my electrical panel in my house. So I actually put correction tools in the bathroom as well. But here's that it was the story of where the shed went where the shed couldn't go until I had that tool, which I didn't have at the time when the shed was being put in. So it's that simple. It's a little plastic earth scepter you stick in the ground and that will transmute that underground electrical energy that's right there into beneficial energy. Have a great weekend.